Okay, today I want to show you on Relax in Pain, something that you can relax and do and enjoy. I am sharing with you a fun background that I used a three-quarter brush and I just slip slap the whole background on here and I picked up different colors, cobalt blue, teal green, wicker white, you can see the white and I just brush it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until the whole piece is done. I even have this as um, under practice strokes and I have it as um, right here on a relax and paint morning where I showed you how to do this. So check it out and I have a whole video on, on one stroke lessons on one stroke.com where I show all kinds of backgrounds. So I just want to use this background. It can be all blue. It can be ombre. I teach you ombre also where it's, it's um, a dark purple, medium purple, and the medium blue going all the way up. But I'm going to do a fun, deep, rich color on a swag. And so let's, let's have um, darker down here. Yeah, let's do this. All right. So I'm going to swag. I need this dark background. So I want you to think today, I'm going to create because guess what it does? It makes you feel better about yourself when you can create something you didn't think you could do. So I love sharing this with you. Take a deep breath this morning, relax, and know that this is going to be something that will be fun for you to learn. Now, what you do is you get paper or a canvas or whatever, and you do simple strokes with me. Each, and you can go on, if it's a stroke that you don't know, go to my practice strokes and it's gonna help you paint this. But come back here, do one little part that I'm sharing with you, then stop, stop the video, do another part, stop the video until you get the whole um, design painted, okay? So you can have this as a C, see that? Or you can do it an upside down swag coming up. But I thought, it, I thought it'd be pretty to do a swag like this. And the focal point is a red rose that I just did recently on um, TikTok and I did it on practice strokes. So let me show you. I was showing how to take, this has been wet, laid on a paper towel. And then we're going to come in here to my messy double loader because I've been painting. Oh, I don't have a place to work it in, do I? Maybe right here. Okay. Nope. Let me get a foam plate. I just hated to lose this paint because it's still good. But I've been painting since really early this morning and creating. And I've been a busy, busy busy, busy beaver out here working on new stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna work really hard to work it in. Now, when you get it to this point, you can use a berry wine, you can use dark brown. There's all kinds of colors. This is apple red and sap green. So now what's gonna happen is I use this apple red, not engine red, not cardinal red. I need this vivid color of red to stand out on this dark blue. Now I'm going to take and really, this just hit a million three. I'm going to take that off, that light off there for a minute. Um, on YouTube, um, excuse me, TikTok of people watching it and getting excited and I don't even talk. So can you imagine if it came over here <laughs> to YouTube? All right. Now, so I'm laying out, let me get it out of the glare. So I'm doing one, two, three, four, five. Thank you for watching Relax and Paint with me in the mornings. It, it, um, I feel like we're buddies that we're here creating together or we're uh, hopefully I'm inspiring you to create. All right, so now let's do the center. So the center, you could stop right there and, and pounce in the middle and have a, a knockout rose like, but then I want you to see if I go up and over, wherever I'm pointing 
the rose is which way, like this is pointing down. And see, I'm going to do an upside down U. Or if I turn it totally like this, look, I'm just taking it and bringing it up. And it might be easier for you to turn it that way. And I'm going to come right in here. And I'm just picking up, watch me. I'm picking up red on the corner each time. The apple red. This is a three quarter inch brush. You can use a 16. So I started next to the bud, next to the bud. And all I'm doing is looking at the red. And I kind of lay this red out. You see that? So when I'm all done, I'm gonna come right in here, up on the chisel, and I'm just dipping the corner. I'm gonna come right here, and then lay the red out and pull it up. All right, so look how pretty that is. Oh, let's get it at an angle. Let me try putting some paint under here so that it, the light doesn't give a total glare. All right, so here we go. All right, so maybe, maybe I can have another little rose here. See how it's a little rose bud, you see that? Let's do this one up here because if you've been with me, and you're saying, how do I know where to put a leaf? How do I know where to put the flower? That's the most asked question. So I want you to see that I have a triangle. <sighs> Take a deep breath and say, oh, I'm going to try that, right? See that? All right, let me stay up here so you see the pretty colors. All right. Now I can... I can take and wipe some of that red and green off. I can pick up some Juneberry. Oops. Let's see, I take put the Juneberry where the dark green was and I have no white. Let's get some white. Okay. I'm gonna go back to my foam plate and my hand here. And I'm going to pick up Juneberry and pick up white because there's no place left on my palette. And I'm going to come right here. I can even add a little bit of red. So the colors blend well together. Oh my goodness, we need a little bit more white. Okay. Now, let's come in here and let's do a little bit of a flower that heads down. So watch this, out to a point, lean the other way and come back. I'm gonna pick up some neon purple and add that to that. I just think it needs more color to go with this other richness that we've got here. So let's do that again. There we go. See a little bit of neon there. There. So I come up, reverse direction, push down, come back. All right, that's all glare. Let me get some of that light on. There we go. <laughs> the morning lights coming in and it's pretty bright. So I don't think I need my lights today. All right, so I'm gonna come right here and then back, right here and then back. All right, so that's just kind of fun. Then all of a sudden I'm gonna go chisel, push. Oh, you don't see that. Chisel, push, stand up. Chisel, push, stand up. Now I am just adding those in there. And I'm going to use a smaller brush if you, for some more of these. 
Okay, so let's add some purple in there, neon purple. Okay. All right. So let's come in here. All right. I, I want to see if we can get a little fancier here. I'm going to come here. Look, I, when I pick up paint, I got to come here and work it in. Okay. I'm going to lay wet on top of wet. And I'm going to lay it out, stand it up, lay it out, stand it up. All right, so those petals are in front of these. Okay. See, I'm changing my mind after I started doing that, but that's fine. All right, so I can come in here and add some white. Touch with just the white on the brush. Have you tried that before? All right, bring some white down, some white down. All right, so it's just some layered petals there. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go, let's, let's go to our 12. So we're gonna take a 12 and let's pick up some of these bright, pretty greens that we have here. All right, this brush has been dampened. I'm gonna pick up two colors. I'm gonna go a little bit on my medium and then I'm gonna work it in. Oop, it's got a little bit of aqua. That's not bad either. I thought that was dry. So a little bit of white, a little bit more white. Okay, so I've done these before where I chisel, push, roll, chisel, push, roll. And see, it's gonna make a pretty wreath here. So I have green there. Let's do some green here. And I still have enough green on here. All right, and on this side. A little bit more. See how I'm curving inward, chisel, flat, chisel. See, I'm curving it in. Are you relaxing? Are you just watching me? <laughs> I hope that this is a good morning for you. You're sitting there all cuddled up. I'd like to turn on my iPad and just watch pretty things that I want to be able to do. I watch landscape artists a lot. I love my flowers and I, I love working on my flowers and um, seeing how I can create bouquets by looking at pretty wedding pictures and bouquets. But what's wonderful, now watch me, I'm gonna go right on top of here. All right, so I'm gonna come in here. All right. So I wanna inspire you in your learning process. So please come and join our Facebook group. We have sales a couple times a week on there. And I come on and we share different things with you. I usually have a spiritual thought. And see those roses? Push, stand up. So see, that's too dark red. So all I have to do is go get some more citrus and come right on top. So, don't, so what I want you to do is just lay it on there. Now look, I'm going to put one, two, three, and then I'm going to pull the chisel up of this brush. And then I can decide, oh, I'm going to have a few more. Well, if I do that, I want to always leave with a tip. Oh, there we are. Always leave with a little tip right here. And then that means I can get bigger here. 
sorry for the noise outside. A little bit there. Okay, and we can use smaller brushes too. So I'm going to go in there and I think what we need, I'm going to turn my lights away a little bit more. See if this looks better flat. I don't know. Okay. All right, so now I might have time because this is this can be an elegant flower. I just think there's so much light coming in the window. I'm gonna keep it up like this to give us see. I think you gotta see it down like this. Let's see all that pretty movement in the background. So we're getting ready to hit 2021. I don't know when you'll watch this in your life, but uh, I love being here for those who are stuck in their houses and not able to get out. We've been quarantined told not to leave our homes because of age and different things. Now that's all metallic gold, that's treasure gold. And it's gonna shine and really add to my piece. So you can also just come in here and do a few leaves, like two there, maybe one here, maybe one two in here okay and then i have a couple of long ones over here like i had over here chisel push pressure chisel Chisel flat, chisel flat. So we're just doing a wreath and putting lots of fun gold in it. All right. So I'm going to come in here with some, let's pick up some citrus and, and aqua. Okay, so these colors really pop out when you're putting them on this pretty background. Citrus and aqua. So I put them both on the brush at the same time. Not necessarily double loading side to side, but to the front and back. Look, aqua on one side, citrus on the other side. And we're gonna put some over here. Okay. All right, then I'm going to put some blue and aqua. That does not show much. A little bit of white. Let's get some rich color in here. Let's put a little bit in here with some of that white. See that white pop out in there? Those pretty colors. I'm sorry guys, I am not getting that really pretty rich color I want you to see. Okay, now I have everything coming down. So let's, let's take a little bit of a scruffy brush and let's pick up, we've got a little bit of purple and a little bit of neon purple. See that? So let's, let's put a little bit of this neon in here with some purple. 
And it's okay if I put it right on top of stuff that I've already painted. So that was purple that I keep pouncing. This is a dry scruffy. You load it dry. You pounce with it dry. And I want these little wispies hanging. But this is how I design. I just start painting. I don't know what I want here. But I know that purple and red and these colors look pretty together. Lay the brush on its side. See, I'm pouncing flat. Then I lay it on its side. And a little bit in here. Just little bits. A little bit in here. And you want it to stand out on top of the start background. So I'm going to tap a little bit of white. Just a little bit. A little bit here. A little bit over here. Lay the brush on that side. A little bit. A little bit. All right, so you decide if you're happy with that. But the way I like to end this. See what we think we let's see what we think we need oh y'all just saw my messy table full of paint <laughs> i just kept adding to it and haven't cleaned any up all right so if i get a smaller brush let's use this is a 10. okay so let's pick up some purple and white <laughs> I have no place to load this. Where's my phone plate? There it is. I'm getting carried away here. Because I keep deciding how I want this. Let's pick up some more purple. Dioxazine purple. So it's nice. All right. So I have some light colors and some rich colors. So let's come right in here. Let's put the purple on the outside because then that's going to give us some depth like the rose. I'm going right on top of wet green so it's staying dark. So let's come over here and pick up. Let's see what this looks like. I can take a blow dryer and dry this. So it won't give me such a bad time. So let's pick up the neon and the purple and let's come right in here. A little bit here and there. So I'm just kind of relaxing and painting with you this morning and creating something as I go. And sometimes this isn't really what I wanted, so I can decide part way in here. What am I going to do? All right, so let's see if we like it where it's got a little bit more white. A little bit of white. I think that might help. I would put some little white daisies, but th this is more elegant looking. So I don't think I don't think I want the daisies. But see by the deep purple, I came in here and added a little bit of white. I'm sorry. I think your price going to work this morning. You hear that noise? All right. So I think you're going to be able, if you don't see it as well as you want to here, I think you're going to see the picture on YouTube when you watch this. It will be a close-up picture of how it turned out. So I just want you to see, depending on which way you want this, I put some wicker white with dioxazine purple. a little bit here and there so the white no i don't try to do a complete teardrop 
teardrops are on, rely, uh, on practice strokes. Long slender strokes on practice strokes. This is the roses. So you can, you can watch me paint this and go beef up on some of those strokes that you think you need. And then come and paint this with me. Some of you have been painting for a while, practicing with me here, so. All right. So I'm going to pick up some red. We need more red in here. So I'm just going to dab, 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 dab. And dab some more in here. So we want it balanced. See, I put a little bit of red here, red, red, red. A little bit of red here, red there. So there's my triangle. So let's put a little bit of apple red out here. And this is just my 12 and I'm just dabbing it. And it'll just look like clusters of red. Flowers. Then one, two, three, we can use a little bit in here. See how that red kind of pulled it together? I needed something. And a little bit down here. Well, thank you for spending the morning with me. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys turn this into. I am going to put a few little yellow, yellow dots. Or, or instead of yellow, we could put some white dots inside. But, or citrus, citrus might go better. Yeah. Let's put citrus because we don't have any yellow in here right now. So citrus. And we're going to put one in the purple flower behind. Okay, we're going to put one there and multiple ones in here with the tip of with the handle of the brush. Okay, and I think I could use some more of the gold. So I'm going to come in here to finish this up with little strokes of gold with a, this is an, an eight or six. This is an eight. So we're going to come in here and add to liven this up here and there. I'm going to have a few more gold leaves. Okay. And the gold stands out really well on some of this darker background. And so if you don't feel comfortable with curly cues, just do a little leaves because they lighten your piece up. <sighs> Are y'all breathing? Y'all just relax and take a deep breath and realize that we put it in his hands and he will bless us through all the trials and tribulations, which are pretty tough right now. I have seven children, one passed away at 23 and I have 29 grandbabies. And if you don't think that I have to pray a lot and have a lot of wearies worrying about all my children and their spouses and all my grandbabies. I said in the last week I cried quite a bit, but there's some were happy tears, some were emotional from watching wonderful shows on giving and helping people and being touched by the holiday season. There you go. Well, I, so it's good to cry sometimes, but not all the time. All right. So, geez, I need this so that the light, it keeps correcting me. 
every time I move it out of the light, it corrects it and gives me more light. So I want you to see, I want to have some curls coming out of here. All right, of the metallic treasure gold. I got carried away. So you can do a lot less than I just did. Or you can do <laughs> exactly what I did. Whatever makes you happy. All right. So, and I'm going to sign this in gold with my script liner, or you can use your identa pen. And I'm just using the tip of the brush and enjoy. I can't wait to put the picture up so you can see it better. Love you guys. Thank you for su the support. Please share with your friends. Please like and ring the bell so you'll know when these come up. They'll tell you whenever I'm on, go to onestroke.com and pick up all your painting needs. Thank you. Bye-bye.